big deal in itself. Uh, I, you know, I, we don't know if they will get the pod. Um, I know Charlie is the athletic director. Uh, Charlie Gross has a, appealed for it, has a bid for it, rather. And so, you know, we sure hope we get to see, you know, at least two more games here at the Playoff Beauty Center, but we'll have to wait and see. As for the Skylights, they're trying, they've been kind of an up and down club, but they have improved a lot from last season under the leadership of Chris Mullet. It's a team that has a few seniors on their squad as well. They will be playing their last regular season game on the road before the Frontier Conference Tournament. They will have to play a first round game, of course, but some of the talented players on the team for Chris Mowat, Riley Carey, a 5'10 senior from Columbia Falls. She's been a dynamic scorer for Chris Mowat's group. And we've been impressed by Latia Lawrence, one of the guards. Um, Savannah Toms, post player from Glendive. She's going to have to guard Jamie Pickens for a fair bit of time. So um, some good players on the team. They are a more of a slow it up, deliberate offense. and. That's been a recipe that has given some other teams troubles in the conference. And even the Fighting Saints in the last couple of matchups, there have been periods of time where you can tell that that pace has kind of frustrated them. Yeah, they, they, they do. They, uh, Chris Mullen runs a, a lot of plays, a lot of sets. He executes them well. He, uh, he disguises them. Yeah, he changes the names of them. When, we, when I was coaching, you know, we were trying to get the names of his plays, but he would change them every week so we could never figure out what he was running. But uh, most of it ends up in kind of a high-low situation. They like to go inside a lot. I thought last time Kara played, Riley Kara played exceptionally well. She really showed uh, that she's a, she's a solid French Conference player, you know, pro a candidate for an all-conference situation. 5'10 senior from Columbia Falls. And they'll have to guard her tonight. She's capable of having a big night. The women... We'll tip it off in about a dozen minutes, but on the Placer Motors pregame show from Placer Subaru, we're taking a break, and when we return, we'll have an interview with the head coach of the Fighting Saints, Rochelle Sayers. She'll talk about her seniors. When we return, stick with us. You're listening to the home of the Fighting Saints on Rewind, 94.9 FM, and online, KCAP.com. You can tell when you walk into a room. You can see the perfect lines with the hardwood makes the floorboards and door jams. You can feel the bowing of the carpet weave on your stocking feet. Finsets Carpet One, both for you and each one of their customers, is satisfaction. Finsets Carpet One sales and design team are ready to help you with hardwood, carpet, tile, LVP, and vinyl. Finsets, it's not just a flooring store, they're an employee owned community partner. For over 75 years, Finsets Carpet One on Fuller Downtown. Want to get the most money for your tax refund back? Make an investment that saves you even more money and increases your safety and comfort. Give your vehicle a little TLC at the Money Key Car Care Center. For routine maintenance and repairs, new tires, or brake pads, Money Key can help you keep your car running smoothly and safely. Money Key Car Care Center, where our model is to always do the right thing. That can go on and operate it. 610 West Custer. Explore, learn, and grow at the Lewis and Clark Library. Looking for fun holiday craft ideas? New recipes to try? Or simply needing a good book to escape in? Check out all the library has to offer, both online and in person. From mobile hotspots and laptops to play away audiobooks and the current bestsellers to television classics, the library has something for everyone. Visit lclibrary.org to explore our online collections and discover all the library has to offer. East Helena, experience the fiber revolution with Montana Internet. Our ultra-fast gigabit fiber service is now available in Red Fox Meadows, Prestige, Highland Meadows, Vigilante, Dryland Loop, and Huron Creek. No contracts, unlimited data, and award-winning tech support from our local team. Call 443-3347 or visit mt.net. Montana Internet, driving the fiber revolution. This is Saints Game Day, driven by Placer Motors, on Rewind 94.9 and KCAP.com. Joining us now from the Rutgers Furniture Coaches Lounge is the head coach of the Carroll College women's basketball team, Rochelle Sayers. Coach Sayers, it's senior day, and you have a remarkable collection of players who have been in the program. Please tell us about both individually and collectively what they're doing. 
to not only the team, but the school and uh, to you? Well, this, this trip has been really special. You know, starts with Maddie Garrett's in her sixth year here at Arkansas and in her fifth year, and Jamie Pickens in her fourth year. And so when you have a group that you've been around for so many years, have the opportunity to watch them grow into these amazing, successful women that they have grown into. What they do on the court is, is obviously remarkable, and, and everybody sees that and everybody knows that. I think it's what they do off the court, watching them you know, work through struggles and adversity and grow and mature and become great leaders and great representatives of Carol Carlton's basketball is, is probably what, what is always so special for me. As a coach, obviously, the successes that they, they've had speak for themselves. I think I was looking today, and in that four years together, they had 51 and 7 in conference. They lost seven conference games in four years. And so that's really remarkable, but I think the, the thing that stands out the most to me about all of them is just their, their perseverance and their commitment to this program and to their teammates and to our staff. Uh, it's just something that you don't see anymore in college basketball. Kids that commit to a school and, and stay there um, and continue to stay there and continue to keep working and, and can continue to keep sharing the culture and traditions with their younger teammates. So with those three individuals, they all obviously have different strengths as basketball players and individually as student athletes and community members, but you've talked prior about how Eric and Wesson kind of embodies the fact that she didn't get a lot of playing time earlier in her career and she could have done a number, number of different ways with her time but she's committed and persevered and has become the first guard off the bench for you and really valuable contributor. So tell our listeners a little bit more about that hard work you did in addition to her studies. Well, and, you know, Eric is a chemistry, neuroscience major. <laughs> I, I can't even begin to think about what, what she has to think about on a daily basis. So academically, she's just off the charts, and she works extremely hard in the classroom. But athletically, that translates. You know, she is one that, that really had to pay her dues, and, and Eric just kept showing up and going to work every single day. I never complained about playing time. Always supported their teammates. Always was willing to do what was asked. I actually asked her today if she wanted to start for senior day, and she said, "No, I'm good. I I, I like my role. I'm good in my role. I want to I want to keep doing what we've been doing." And, and that that just tells you all you need to know about her character and what this team means to her and her understanding of the bigger picture. And it's just so amazing to watch. Uh, all that hard work come to fruition this year and played a huge part in, in our success. So the back of tip-off from the Carroll College Food Center and we return. You're listening to the home of Carroll College Basketball and Rewind 949 FM and online at kcap.com. Why do we play these machines? To hear that sound. Even if it's not your machine, it makes your heart beat a little faster. And hope is renewed that you're just one button push away from your very own jackpot. At Gold Island Casino, it seems you hear that sound more often. We'll see you shortly at the Gold Island Casino. This is John Logger from the Century 21 Commercial Real Estate. I'm happy to announce that I'm now working together with Greg Thornquist. Greg has recently joined our office as a manager in addition and will continue his work as a commercial real estate manager, which has been doing for 18 years. He's an Indian veteran and previously served on the state tax appeal board for 11 years. Combining my years of realtor experience, we are creating a strong team that can analyze the value and market your commercial properties. If there's a very strong interest in the Hellas commercial market, give me a call at 439 Greg, 439 Want to get the most value for your tax refund buck? Make an investment that saves you even more money and increases your safety and comfort. Give your vehicle a little TLC at Lanarkey Car Care Center. When you can maintenance and repairs, new tires, or brake pads, Lanarkey can help you keep your car running smoothly and safely. That's at Lanarkey Car Care Center, where our model is to always do the right thing. Let him own and operate it. 610 West Custer. 
can't prove it, but research strongly suggests the oldest question in the history of humanity is, what are you doing for dinner? At Overland Express, you'll find an all-American family-style restaurant. The Overland features prime rib nightly, fresh seafood, mouth-watering salads, and homemade soups every day. Solve the oldest question. Choose Overland Express for your next night out. Suitable for date night or family night. Overland Express, serving the diners in Helena since 1975. What are we doing for dinner? Going to Overland Express. Maddie Garrett, she's the emotional leader and also a really funny individual and lighthearted in a lot of ways as well. Tell our listeners who maybe, you know, don't, she's a competitor, but off the court, what she's like in the locker room and what she brings to the table. Well, I, I think she could call her her own comedy show. She's extremely talented in, in so many different ways. Uh, she spends hours in, in the offices here helping Conway and helping me. She, she does a lot of, of work here in the athletic department. She loves a microphone. If you need somebody to MC an event, she'd be the one you'd want. But she keeps she keeps things light, you know, and Jamie always says, when I look at Maddie and I see her energy and her excitement, I know everything's okay. She, you know, she takes the pressure off people. She's a very caring teammate. She's uh, she's always trying to, to make sure that, that everybody's having a good time. But she's had a tremendous year. Her best year of her career, her career average this year, her stats, this year is well above her career averages and she's having a great year and so really, really happy to have her back and see her come back and have the year that she's having. And then last but not least, of course, she begins the evening way every week, the future conference player every week. We've talked a lot about her basketball skills, but you've mentioned a few times, and in case our listeners haven't heard it before, that she's pursuing a nursing degree and has a lot of demands in season in the classroom and has had to miss a lot of time. You wouldn't know that, just seeing her on the court, but what's her commitment been like for this team in the sense that it has not certain that she could come back this year and boy, it's a very well that she is. <laughs> well, I, I mean, you see her numbers again, she's having another career year, and I think people don't realize what she goes to get out there on the court. Most Tuesdays is a clinical day where she starts at 6.30 in the morning, finishes at 6.30 at night. Sometimes she's at the VA, sometimes she's at the hospital, sometimes she's in Great Falls. Sometimes she doesn't even get back for practice on Tuesdays. And then, you know, you've been on the road with us on a Thursday game where the team's all there on Wednesday and she's not. And Thursday, she meets us at the gym, puts on her shoes, gets herself ready, and goes out and scores 28 and has 10 rebounds at Rocky. And so, you know, the classes for that nursing program are obviously very demanding, the ones that you can't miss. And for her to be able to juggle her academics and then perform on the floor like she's performed, it's almost as if the basketball part is, has become a release for her. It's, it's a break, it's a release, and she gets to go out and have fun and be with her friends and her teammates. And, and she's playing that way. She's playing loose, she's playing, playing very confident. And, and so I think um, having those, those demands she has academically has, has really helped her on the, on the floor. Well, thanks for your time, Coach Sarah. We look forward to sharing on the Saints and on Senior Day. We'll be back on the Carroll College Free Center and we'll return. You're listening to the home of Carroll College Basketball and Rewind 949 FM and online at kcap.com. The President's Day sale has been held over through this Saturday, February 25th at Furniture Show. You still have time to shop Furniture Show's great selection of sofas, recliners, occasional tables, dining room, bedroom, extremely affordable therapeutic beds, and more during this fantastic sale. Plus, 12-month financing is available with approved credit on most purchases over $399. Ask for details. Don't forget, President's Day savings have been held over through this Saturday at Furniture Showroom, 2200 North Glass Chance Gulch in Helena. Want internet with no limits? Ace Golf Fiber Internet from TDS is otherworldly. Stream, stream, and work with astronomical power. Create the ultimate smart home. And do it all with unmatched speed and reliability. No contracts, no data caps. Isn't it time to live without limits? Register for TDS Fiber 8 Internet today. Visit tdsfiber.com slash limitless. Internet fees are up to a not guarantee. Subject to availability. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details. When you need it, rent it, A1, A1 Rentals. For that project, make a stop at A1 Rentals, they've got what you need. Sheetrock lifts and texture machines, floor sanders, grinders and polishers for wood and concrete floors. 
heaters, electric and propane. Perfect heaters too. Located at 1400 Cedar, next to Party Club. When you need it, rent it at A1, A1 Rentals. East Helena experienced the fiber revolution with Montana Internet. Our ultra-fast gigabit fiber service is now available in Red Fox Meadows, Prestige, Highland Meadows, Vigilante, Dryland Loop, and Heron Creek. No contracts, unlimited data, and award-winning tech support from our local team. Call 443-3347 or visit mt.net. Montana Internet, driving the fiber revolution. Well, it's official. Vinner is definitely here. Hi, this is Eric from Placer Subaru. Right now, during the Subaru Lot to Love event, we have a great selection of Outback, Forester, Crosstrek, Ascent, Impreza, Legacy, and snow tire equipped WRX models, as well as a great selection of certified pre-owned Subarus. So now is the time to head to Placer Motors and see for yourself why Consumer Reports ranks Subaru best mainstream brand for 2023. Right now, you can take advantage of interest rates as low as 1.9% on select Outback models up to 48 months on proved color. So come see us, take a look, take a test drive. That's Placer. You're listening to Saints Basketball. Tip-off is next on Rewind 94.9. You're home for the Saints. Carol Hodge, the center on the campus of Carol College in Helena, Montana. The Carol College Fighting the Sea is taking on the visiting MSU Northern Skylights. Joined now by my broadcast partner, Gary Turcott. Gary, I got a couple score updates. Of course, the game's flipped here, and the women are playing second. So the other games in the Frontier Conference will update our listeners on finals from Billings. Montana Western with an 86-73 victory over Rocky. And then the other matchup was in Great Falls, the Providence Argos 82, Montana Tech 67. So no, the women, women. So yeah. the Argos, the women, and uh, they're the two seed, the Argos. Yeah. Was, yeah. Western gets the three seed with their victory, and, and that will be the one seed. And it's been Carol, the Argos, and Western, really the best three teams in the league. Yeah, pretty much. As for the visiting MSU Northern Skylights, they feature a lineup that includes Jalen Callender, a 5'9 senior from Caldwell, Idaho. She's joined by Taya Trottier, a 5'6 sophomore from Harlem, Montana. Rachel Van Blair from a 5'9 sophomore from Clancy, Montana. And in the front court, we have Riley Kerr, a 5'10 senior from Columbia Falls. And a 6' junior from Glendive, Montana, Savannah Toms. The lights are coached by Chris Mullet. As for the Fighting Saints, their starting five that has been all season, pretty much once they've been healthy in the Frontier Conference. The point guard, number 12, a 5'10 junior from Bozeman, Montana, Addie Ekstrom. She's joined on the wing by a 5'9 senior from Haver, Montana, Kendall Keller. Bill Albrecht is a 6' junior from Billings, Montana. And in the front court, a pair of grad students we recognize today, Maddie Garrett's 6' two post from Boise, Idaho, and the All-American from right here in Eleanor, Jamie Pickens, six foot two grad student. And this group, they won 14 games in the conference last year, made it to the round of 16 in the national tournament. They have their sights set on repeating on the 14 win mark, and they were the Frontier Conference tournament champions last year. They will start their opportunity to get there again on Friday in Great Falls. We will have those games for you right here as the Saints in their home white jerseys and purple trim. Jamie Pickens will, as she does so often, tip it to a teammate and going right to left on the radio dial to fight in Saints first quarter action in the Frontier Conference last regular season game. Jamie Pickens drops it off to Maddie Garretts, her senior teammate. Garretts in the paint, going to work, can't connect. But she gets the offensive rebound, finds Addie Ekstrom, who squares up for a three, in and out. And Jamie Pickens tries to get the offensive rebound, unable to get it. So the first trip, no points for the Saints, and the Skylights will have possession. You see a little bit of pressure put on by the Saints here. 
And it's a 1-2-2, two, two, kind of a three-quarters card zone press. Uh, they, they, they've used off and on this year. Sometimes it's been effective. They've got some big steals at key moments out of this press. One update, lineup change I have for you. Latia Lawrence from Harlem is starting. We'll see Rachel Van Blair come from outside of Helena and Clancy. She'll be checking in later. Savannah Toms from Red Dice hands it off to Latia Lawrence. Now Trottier. Trottier behind the back dribble. And Rilla Albrecht with the steal in the passing lane. And Abby Ekstrom pushes the paint. Jane Pickens from just outside the free throw line, in and out. Rebound comes to Latia Lawrence. No score, 8.54 to go, first quarter action from the PE Center. On scene today, the Fighting Saints, the number one seed in the Frontier Conference, for 13-1. Savannah Toms, face up shot, no good, rebound, Kendall Kelly. Well, she had no hesitation on that. She looked good with that shot, didn't go in, but good rhythm on that shot. Garrett sets a pick for Willa Albrecht. Now Kendall Keller, three ball in the way. Kendall buries it. Really been working on her threes. I mean dedicatedly working on her three-point shot. But Jolene Lloyd, first shot out the way with three-pointer. Jolene Lloyd is your hometown real estate expert supporting hometown sports. So a nice shot by Kendall Keller has the Saints in front, three nothing. Latia Lawrence drives and good defense by Kendall. Latia with a hook shot, no good, rebound Jamie Pickens. Jamie Pickens, the leading rebounder in the conference and the second leading scorer, averaging over 18 a game. And Jamie, on the attack, scores off glass. This is by Eddie Ekstrom, it's 5-0 in the Fighting Saints in front. Callender throws it over to Trottier. Trottier from Harlem, Montana, one of two players on the floor from Harlem. Jalen Callender driving, no good, rebound Jamie Pickens. Jamie has 20 double-doubles on this season. Maddie Ekstrom pushing it, gets it inside to Maddie Garrett. See, she scores from in close. It is 7 nothing. Fighting Saints off to a good start. Good crowd on hand here. There's Riley Kerr, pull up three balls. Banked in. She gives the, the look of... Look at the leaf that that one went in on her face. <laughs> it's 7-3 on the first basket for the lights, and it's the 30-second timeout called by Chris Miller. I, I think we got a full timeout, but that's all right. It gives more chance to talk. Yeah, I uh, kill with transition, you know, and that's not with transition buckets. That's what Chris Miller knows. He cannot give up transition buckets, and that's why he took the timeout, because Carroll, if, if they don't get back to get the ball stopped, Carroll will run away with this game. Um, so, uh, you know, that's why he took the timeout. Yeah. And mm -hmm. in terms of slowing the game down, Lafa makes, do you expect to see some pressure, or what do you think well, from his group? Well, he, if, yeah, he, he might try to score. He, he's going to probably play some zone, maybe even. I wouldn't be surprised if he some boxing one on Jamie, you know, something like that. But, you know, offensively, they run a lot of dribble drive stuff, a lot of stuff where they attack the basket. And he cares about length against this team. Um, Willa Albright, that time, you know, but he's not used to driving against somebody trying to finish on the basket. She needs a six foot plus a little bit. She's close to six one and long. And it's tough to finish over that kind of length. You were right, Gary. I was watching though, he gave me the thirty second. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They're they're in their uh, yeah. regular season, uh, but it was preseason farm on college time <laughs> but you're right, it was a full time out by MSU Northern. And he had he needed all that time to come get the girls to understand you gotta get back and get the ball stopped. Or you got no chance tonight. Seven three is the score, seven thirteen to go. And Northern with a little zone press of their own. X Sherman, Kendall Keller going back and forth. Now they throw it ahead to Willow Albrecht. Willow will go baseline, and she can't score. Multiple players go to the floor, and Matia Lawrence emerges, and she's pushing the pace. Now she'll back out. Lawrence defended by Kendall Keller. Riley Kerr, who banked in the three, has the ball right now, defended by Willow Albrecht. Now Savannah Toms out to Trottier. Trottier, quick first step, driving on Eddie Ekstrom and drawing the foul. And Eddie got her hand on it here, and, and that time, you know, Coach Mel, what we call a flex, a flex offense, 
until he got the ball to rally to uh, one of his guards up on top and, and had a driving lane. I can see where that might be effective. Trot here. First free throw is good. When you want to run dribble drive, you want to get the ball kind of at the elbow extended. Kind of crazy to think that uh, Trottier and Latia Lawrence played high school together in Harlem. That must have been a pretty yes, cool it squad. Oh, I think it was. Yes, it was. So more pressure by the Whites. They trail by two. Carroll got off to a 7 nothing lead. Addie Ekstrom in rhythm shoots from the elbow. And so Addie from Bozeman, Montana, knocks down the shot. She's a terrific floor general and a great defender. 9-5, Saints lead, 6-18 remaining in the first quarter. Jalen Callender drops it into Kerr, defended by Maddie Garretts. Kerr, series of moves and can't connect and a rebound for Jamie. Good defense, Maddie, that time. That's a tough, a tough matchup down here with shoes on Kerr. 9-5, six minutes remaining in the first quarter. On senior day, catch for Maddie Garretts. She's doubled and she turns it over as Trottier. Oh, that's all, Jamie. Trottier emerges, Jamie Pickens trailing. So a little bit of numbers here for the Skylights. They drop it into Toms. Toms face up shot is up and in. So it's going to Toms scores. It's 9 7. Good job by the Skylights to take advantage of the 5 on 4. Uh, as Willa Albrecht gets contacted and a foul on Jalen Callender. But they will be inbounding here. 33 to go, two point lead for the Fighting Saints. They got off to a 7 0 lead. Inbound comes Garrett. She gives it back to Albrecht. Now Addie Ekstrom. In Northern in their zone all of a sudden. That 1 2 2 zone. Carol will have to figure that out. Pickens, turnaround jumper, flashes it. High she Pickens has four. She loves the ball at the high post. And why not? Her yeah. jumper has just been in rare form these last several games. She's getting more and more range. Yeah. And that's her fourth year in Helena. Started her career at the University of Montana. 11-7. Saints up four. Savannah Toms gets a nice catch. And a good score over Jamie Pickens, who was straight up on that one. Toms gives up a little bit of size, but she scores, and she's got four. 11-9 is the score, so the Skylight's starting to find some offensive rhythm. Carroll on the offensive end, Maddie Garrett's. Three ball, in and out. Latia Lawrence with the rebound. She throws it ahead to Kerr. Kerr out on the break. And Willa Albrecht with a nice prevention though. It's a foul. As we see Izzy Erickson here over the scores table. 11 9. Couple of substitutions. Cheyenne Crass, a six foot two junior from Hoagland, Montana, played at Turner High School. She's on the floor, as is Mackenzie Long, a junior from American Falls, Idaho. And that gives them a lot of size. That this, that's a girl that can match up with Jamie inside. The tallest player on the roster, six foot two, as Riley Kerr knocks down the free throw. She's got four points. Carroll, 22 and four on the season, winners of seven in a row. They're 11 and two at home. I mentioned 13 and one conference players. Kerr knocks down both free throws. In the previous matchups, it was in January here in Helena. All these Saints won 66 to 45 over the Skylights, and then it was a 14 point victory on February 8th, a couple weeks ago. On the road, the Titan Saints picked up a victory. This is the third matchup. Keller out to Pickens. Pickens goes off the dribble and scores off the glass. So Jamie having some success shooting from mid-range and driving. 13-11 is the score. Four minutes to go in the first quarter. Mackenzie Long with the ball right now. Gives it off to Trottier. Trottier looking for teammates. Now Crass out at the three-point line defended by Pickens. Nine on the shot clock. Trottier. With a great pass to Cross, and Cross finishes. So screen roll, good execution by Good Jordan. execution, screen roll. Yeah, they are they are playing very effectively at the offensive end. Five for Kerr, four for Toms. Jamie Pickens has six to lead the Fighting Saints. So we're all tied up at 13, 3:21 to go in the first quarter. Jamie Pickens going to work. Shot up, no good. Good box out by Kerr, and she fights with Izzy Erickson. Izzy Erickson, good hustle. 
<laughs> just she provides that at good, all times. Just good hustle to get that offensive rebound, cause the jump ball, so Kira will have the arrow on the next jump ball. Impressive start though for, yeah. the, for the Whites. They were down 7-0 and they've been man they've managed to tie this one up at 13. Since the timeout, they played much better. That's how it always is supposed to go as a coach, right? Yeah. You call the timeout and things are going to get better. Well, you sure hope so. <laughs> Tia Lawrence, find the back dribble. And then Trottier driving in the lane. And ball goes out of bounds. And turnover. Trottier's got a good first step. Good ball handler. Likes to attack and find others. She's been effective so far doing that. Eddie yeah, Ekstrom brings it up the floor. We've seen one substitution. That is Izzy Erickson who came in for Maddie Garretts. Jamie gets the catch on the block, kicks it out. She'll get repost, jump hook in the lane, and she scores. I don't have any stats on it, but when she gets the second <laughs> catch, I'd say her percentage is about 90% on the year. Good patient play by the Saints offense as they double team Trottier, and we got close to a five second call. Well, that's that little half-court trap, and what you don't want to do against it is drill over the half-court line and pick the ball up, because you're really in trouble. 15-13, Saints lead by two, 223 to go, but the Whites inbound it. Trottier defended by Addy Ekstrom. Addy Ekstrom, one of the Frontier Conference Defensive Player of the Year candidates, as she's limited a lot of their top scoring guards in the conference. McKenzie Long with the left hand, driving on Kendall Keller. Four seconds on the shot clock. Trotter's got to get something up, and she gets bailed out by the foul on Addie Ekstrom. As Trotter loves to drive hard into the lane. She does, and she's been very aggressive to start this game. We will see Erica Nesson, the third senior, the grad student, guard from Spokane, Washington, Mead High School. And Addie Ekstrom, two fouls. That's uh, got to be real careful when she comes back in the game. First free throw by Trottier is good. It's 15-14 with two minutes and five seconds remaining in the first quarter. And two for two for Trottier. 15-15, all tied up. We got a good start here. Will Albrecht gets the catch. And Kendall Keller brings up the floor. Kendall originally from Hatter. Pickens throws it cross court. Will Albrecht will drive and kick. And Jamie's cutting. And in the lane, Ooh, no call. <laughs> Jamie's laughing, and yeah. Rochelle Sayers is exasperated. She doesn't understand the call either. I got blocked out. I couldn't see it. Yeah, there was a lot of contact, but Jamie was in a lot of control too. 15-15, and then Willa Albrecht getting in on the defensive end, and Willa. Yeah. Playing hard and so that's a jump yeah. ball. That's a turnover against the press. And Carroll has the arrow, so they'll get the ball. As we will see Rachel Van Blair come from Clancy. I'd like to see Willa be aggressive like that. You know, she caused it, knocked the ball loose, and then dove on the floor. Oh, yeah. She's great defender, good length. Yeah. Excellent shooter. First year for the Fighting Saints. Kendall Keller off to Erica Ness, and Erica's the first guard off the bench for Coach Rochelle Sayers group. Rochelle. Now we see Izzy with a deep two, unable to convert, and Willa tried to get the board. Bodies cascading around as well, tied up at 15 in this first quarter. Trottier running the offense here, drops it into Kerr. Kerr with a series of moves going in on Izzy Erickson, and no good rebound. Jamie Pickens, Jamie having another superb game already on the boards. Kendall Keller on the aggressive effort, kicks it out. In rhythm, picking, shuffle, good. Good find by Kendall Keller. So Jamie's got four rebounds and ten points as it's 17-15. Megan Carstair will head to the bench. Uh, scores table. 39 seconds in the first quarter. Saints lead by two. Long to Trottier. And we try to find the feed. Care on the interior. Draws a foul on Willa Albrecht. So a nice lob pass into Kara. They like to get it to her down in the post area. Yes, they do. And she's good fouls on Willa. Yeah. Good execution of, a, of a, a lob from the wing and a good seal by Kara. 
Jalen Callender checks in. Tyler Trottier heads to the bench. Cheyenne Crass on the floor for Toms. Most recently, we saw Van Blair come check in. Carstetter on the floor for Jamie Pickens, who gets a breather here to end the first quarter. First free throw no good by Kerr at 17-15 still. One of two at the line for Riley Kerr at 17-16, and we will see another substitution. This is Sydney Hansen. She's from Big Timber, Montana. A senior, she gets on the floor. Kendall Taylor will bring it up the floor right now. She gets past half court. She's being doubled, searching for teammates. Eric Nesson has the ball. Kendall Taylor now is dropping into Izzy. She kicks it out to Albrecht. Now corner three on the way from Kendall Keller. A little long. Rebound by Crass, and there's eight on the shot clock. Game clock, rather. Van Blair comes off to Calendar. Calendar's going to go to work. Step back. Now but Van Blair comes. Let's it go from deep, and she can't connect. But a really good quarter for the visiting Skylight sees on the right Miller State Farm Insurance scoreboard 17-16. We will take a break, and we'll be back with six second quarter action from Helena. We're listening to the Helena the Fighting Saints on the on 94.9 FM and online at KCAP.com. The President's Day Sale has been held over through Saturday. Our Rockin' Furniture. When you shop records, you'll find tremendous store-wide savings on the largest selection of home furnishings in the Helen area. Save on sofas, reclining, leather, bedroom, dining room, occasional tables, entertainment consoles, tempered pedic, ceilings, Sierra's leaf beds, and more. Plus, development financing is available with approved credit on most purchases over three hundred million. million. Ask for details. Remember, the President's Day sale has been held over through Sunday. Our workers furniture, Tim Tim, Dearborn, in Helena. This is John Logger, Christian Century 21. There's something powerful in the world. Don't go through the day talking about how big your problems are, but instead talk about how big your God is. It needs to be a habit of declaring God's goodness over your life and speaking victory over your future. Wake up in the morning and say, wow, thank you. I didn't realize that. Your is surrounding you. Blessings are chasing you. That's getting your life started in the right direction. If you'd like to hear good news on Sunday mornings, meet me at Grace Community Fellowship at 10 o'clock with W Blocks across the park at the Bay Coast. Welcome back to Carroll College Beauty Center. One quarter in the books and 17-16 by two, three by one. Pretty impressive quarter by the skylights, Gary. Very impressive, you know, getting to the foul line, attacking, and, you know, at action, Carol's point guard on the bench with two fouls, and Northern's already shot eight free throws. Northern seven for eight from the line, Carol dominating the game on the other statistical categories, but seven points is a big advantage. Carol yet to shoot a free throw. Jamie Pickens has ten points and four rebounds currently on the bench. Maddie Garretts is back into the game, and Megan Carstetter seeing some minutes. Shot is up and no good from the lights, and Kendall Keller came down with it. Now Erica Nesson will send it off to her grad school teammate, Maddie Garrett's Maddie. Going with the left hand and taking a hard foul and a hard fall. And that's, how you, up. that's how you take it to the rim. And that's uh, 22. A Sydney Hansen from Good Temper. I haven't, uh, ha yeah, Sydney Hansen. I don't think she's played that much. She's very aggressive there on defense. Ava Oakland is on the floor for the Fighting Saints from Boise, Idaho, one of two Boise products for Coach Sayers Group. So we've got three reserves on the floor with Kendall Keller and Maddie Garretts as Savannah Toms will check in. And Maddie Garretts knocks down two free throws. She's been exceptional from the foul line this year, 85%. 1916 is scored, 927 to go in the second quarter. The Fighting Saints looking to pick up a 14th victory in the Frontier Conference and match last year's mark. Van Blaircombe brings a pass half court. Jalen Callender sends it off to Hanson, back to Callender. There's a lot of weave going on around the three-point range. Mackenzie Long now. A lot of reserves on the floor for both teams. Savannah Tom's working hard for position. Sydney Hansen shot up and no good. Van Blaircombe gets the rebound and her shot's wildly up and off the bank. No good. Oakland into the front court. Kendall Keller. Now Erica Nelson facing up to Erica. Kicks it out. Kendall Keller is going to be aggressive. And 
just 10 on the shot clock now. Saints got to get into their offense. Kendall Keller stepped through. She loves that move. No good rebound calendar. One of her favorite moves. Yeah, it's nice move. Yep, just, just a little short. Yep, little, little short. 1916 is the score. Calendar pump fake as Jamie Pickens will head back to the score. Say hello after a breather. Erica Messing, Johnny on the spot, into the passing lanes and into the front court. Erica taking it in, gets a lot of contact and a foul, so she will have this free throws. Did they foul call a foul? I didn't see a foul call. Uh, I don't know how they couldn't have. I don't either, but I don't think they called it. They didn't. You might be right. Good defense, Erica Nesson. You deserve to get to the free throw. She got No, crushed. they didn't. She got they crushed didn't. and yeah. heard the whistle. She can't believe it. Nobody can believe it. <laughs> They're still, you know, yeah. we got to keep playing. Jamie Pickens gets the entry pass back onto the floor. She's going to work on Savannah Toms. And with the left hand, Jamie gets the whistle. <laughs> you should see the look on Eric and Nelson's face. Yeah. <laughs> She's going, oh, what the hell, what do I got to do to get to the free throw line? She still can't believe it. <laughs> 1916, Coach Sayers laughing, Garrett's still not over it. Yeah. Jamie Pickens at the free throw line, knocks down the first one from the Finstead cover one free throw line. Jamie Pickens, the All-American from Helena, is making it happen. Five for seven from the field, two for two from the line. Saints up by five now, 12 points for Jamie, four boards. 7.53 to go, and Blair come. Attacking with the left hand. She had all sorts of space. Sydney Hansen shot up and no good. Jamie tracks down the rebound. Pickens with her fifth board. Kendall Keller looking up the floor for teammates. Off to Erica Nesson. Erica driving with the left hand and off by us. Erica Nesson. And that was all also set up by a good post seal by Maddie Garrett. And her shot defender could not get off her and get over there and help. Good left hand finish by Erica. Yes. First basket for her. And Blair come. Jib went away, kicking it out to Callender. Long to Trottier and Care have been on the bench for quite some time. Ellie Denny will head to the scores table. Nice pass by Van Blair from the long, but she cannot convert on the way in. And back from the Saints up five, seven actually, looking to add to that. Ava Oakland dribbling, dropping it into Pickens. Pickens. Directing traffic, step back shot, no good. Back off into the rebound to Ava Oakland. Saints will have another 20 seconds on the shot clock. Keller to Nesson. Nesson takes the pick. Kicks it out to Maddie Garrett. Now another touch by Pickens. She spins and draws a foul and can't quite get the bounce to go in, but that's another foul on Tom, so she's got two. Pretty good defense by Tom there. Yeah, I didn't she, see, I didn't see did, much contact. I didn't, didn't catch her. I yeah. think she didn't have to try to block it. Jamie yeah. doesn't get blocked very often. And so. you kind of want Jamie to take a fadeaway on the oh, baseline. Yeah. That's the shot you want her to take. Just go up and contest it. In the last seven point margin, and it turns to eight as Jamie Pickens knocks down another free throw from the Finstead cover one free throw line. So we had a tie game of 15, and now it is a 9-1 to one run with the Saints now making a 10-1 run off of the makes from Jamie Pickens. So Jamie having an exceptional first half. Can't take it for granted. She does it time and time again, but dominating this first half. 6.25 to go in the first half, 25-16, Jalen Callender. Triple handoff to Van Blaircombe, defended by Eric Nesson. Van Blaircombe drops it in, and strike back is rejected by Jamie Pickens. Jamie, the leading shot blocker in the conference, ball goes out of bounds, and here come the Fighting Saints on offense again. Ellie Denny on the floor. Denny is a freshman from Liberty High School in Fairfield, Washington. She has been seen a little bit more playing time in the second half of the conference schedule. Coach Sayers would love to reduce some of the minute load on her team as they've been playing a lot of minutes in this very successful season. Good pass by Pickens to Oakland. 
Back out on the perimeter go the Saints. Another touch for Jamie. Spin move on the baseline. And Diane Crass called for the foul. So Jamie living at the free throw line. Yeah. That was a good spin move. Now that, I, I like that move better than the than the uh the oh, away baseline. Yeah. That's it was just yeah, it's way more aggressive. And she's so good with that, she can finish with both hands. She's got the counter moves. Jamie Pickens, 14 points, 5 rebounds, 5 for 8 from the field, and 5 for 5 at the line right now. Jamie started the season at the free throw line shooting about 85% yeah. and kind of had a little bit of a lull. Yep. Dropped into the 70s, but it seems to be on the ascent again, which is huge because that takes away the ability to foul her if she keeps making free throws. Well, she yeah, does. that really, that, that's huge for a, 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 a scoring post player that can make free throws. Six for six at the line for Jamie, 27-16. Seems lead by 11. Crass, deep three, no good. Rebound, Maddie Garrett's. Ellie Denny, looking up court. Hands it off to Garrett's. Now back to Ellie Denny, running the point right now. Got Ava Oakland driving, and her shot is up and no good. And Jamie with the over the back, she knew it. And there's a good drive by Ava there. She just needed to get a better angle there. She didn't have to just do a scoop. She could have taken a little bit better angle and got off the backboard, but a good aggressive drive. Skylights, they were, they had been stuck on 16 for an eternity here. It was 15-15 at one point, now it's 27-16, 5-06. So I care facing up on Matty Garrett's. Care, step back. Throws it to the corner, skunk clap, driving baseline to Cross. Now Latia Lawrence, feet set, three ball, no good. Rebound goes to Cross. Extra possession available to the Skylights. And I, I do think that the, the, the Northern needs to get the ball to Riley Care a little bit more early and then, and because she can make plays. Time out on the floor, we'll take it with him. We'll be back with more first half action from the PE Center when we return. We're listening to the home of Carroll College Basketball and Rewind, 949 FM, and online, KCAPE.com. Well, it's official. The winner is definitely here. Hi, this is Eric from Placer Subaru. Right now, during the Subaru Lot to Love event, we have a great selection of Outback, Forester, Crosstrek, Ascent, Impreza, Legacy, and Snow Tire Equipped WRX models, as well as a great selection of certified pre-owned Subarus. So now is the time. Head to Placer Motors and see for yourself why Consumer Reports ranks Subaru best mainstream brand for 2023. Right now, you can take advantage of interest rates as low as 1.9% on select Outback models up to 48 months on proof credit. So come see us. Take a look. Take a test drive. That's Placer. Explore, learn, and grow at the Lewis and Clark Library. Looking for fun holiday craft ideas, new recipes to try, or simply needing a good book to escape in? Check out all the library has to offer, both online and in person. From mobile hotspots and laptops to play away audiobooks and the current bestsellers to television classics, the library has something for everyone. Visit lclibrary.org to explore our online collections and discover all the library has to offer. I am OHC Free Towns K235 BW Helena. You're home for the Carroll County Saints. Rewind 949. Welcome back to the PE Center. It's senior day. The Carroll College women's basketball team up 11, 27-16, 449 remaining in the first half. And Gary, this trio of grad students, Eric and Ness and Jamie Pickens, Maddie Garrett, they've won 97 games together. Three Frontier Conference titles. They play in the national tournament every year. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> they got a chance to move that to 100 yeah. before the national tournament begins if they're able to win this one and then win the French Conference tournament. Deep shot by Lawrence. It's no good. And the rebound by Matty Garrett. So Saints defense is just paralyzing the offense of the lights right now. They've got, good, that was, they've got a decent look there. That was Denny. Off to Oakland. Oakland retreats. Back to Denny. Ellie Denny, backing down Skunk Cap, a driving way up, Ellie Denny. 29-16, so Ellie Denny gets into the scoring call. As Alex Sherman, Willa Albrecht, sitting on the bench with a couple of fouls. And McKellar also, she's the on-ball defender. Trottier with the left hand, carving out some space. No look pass into Kraft. That was good. Good pass. Good. Good pass. Crash converts, so the 
scoreless streak finally ends for the Lights. 29-18, and Kendall Keller goes down, and a turnover, Trottier into the open floor. 29-20. She, she was a balance well, I, I think she might, have, contact, she might have tripped over the Northern player, but Garrett's with a good look to Oakland, and then a better look to Jamie Pickens, and she gets fouled. That was a hard foul. A hard foul that time. That was a really nice second pass. Yeah. Garrett's with a really good feed, and then Ava Oakland with a quick touch pass to her teammate, Jamie Pickens. And Eric the Kinesson checks back in. Ava Oakland goes to the bench. So you got Ellie Denny, Erica Nesson, Jamie Pickens, Kendall Keller, and Maddie Garrett on the floor. Jamie Pickens knocks down another free throw. She's been perfect from the free throw lines thus far. Saints lead 30 to 20, 3.23 to go in the first half. Jamie Pickens has got the stroke from the free throw line going right now. Perfect from the free throw line, eight of eight. 18 points and five rebounds for Jamie. The most likely Frontier Conference player of the year. Don't know objectively how you could oh, come no. up with another option. Yeah. Should be unanimous. Fronting pass was Garrett's a nice entry pass. Got a cab, shoots a deep three. <laughs> and Eric and Essen called for the foul. As the shot clock was winding down, skunk cap, not a big outside threat. And she she shoot three free throws. Yeah. 31 20, 256 to go in the first half. Dulcie skunk cap is from Brown, Montana. She's a senior. We shall have an opportunity to shoot three free throws. First shot up, no good. Trotier's got six, Care has six, Cross and Toms, the post players, have four apiece for Chris Moat's group. Trailing by 11. Second free throw, no good by Skunk Cap. She'll have a third opportunity. We will. Everybody's <laughs> waiting to see if she's going to get the hat trick here. That's what they got here. She has that one. So, 31 21. So, we see another substitution. This one, Karina Cabrera from Laguna Beach, California. We haven't seen a lot of her in the previous games. Carol Men won 87-78 earlier, so other Frontier Conference action now underway will be men's games. We'll update you on scores from their side in a bit. Can the color skip past to Eric and Essen? Now Ellie Denny will put up a three. In and out, rebound pass. With a nice pass to Kara, and she traveled. Yep. I tried here. I've been impressed with her passing. Trotty has been effective, and she's been aggressive. She's attacked hard. Yeah, that was a good find there. It's 31-21, 2:27 to go. And the Mike Miller State Farm Insurance scoreboard. We see the Saints with a 10-point lead. Jamie Pickens has the basketball. And she gives it up to Kendall Keller and now Ellie Denny. A little bit of zone here. Pickens with a great feed, wide open layup, Maddie Garrett's. 33 21, two minutes to go in this first half. Excellent feed there. I don't think Maddie's been that open all season. <laughs> well, you know, Coach Moore back and forth between his zone and his man in that time. Try to your shot up in no good, and they've been able to arrest yeah. Addie Ekstrom and Laura Albrecht with the foul trouble for most of the second quarter. Well, just valuable game time for these other girls. Pickens, face up, shot, up and good. Jamie just continues to pour her on. She loves that high post shot. She really does. 35-21, a minute and 20 to go. Care, three ball, in and out. Fighting for the board, it goes off of a Saint and out of bounds, so we'll see Mackenzie Long back on the floor from American Falls, Idaho. And Riley Care's gonna have to get it going here for Northern. She's definitely capable. 14-point margin, 1-16 on the clock. 
Inbound from the baseline, Trottier looking for a teammate, and she finds Crass with an excellent cut there. Nice feed by Trottier. She's at a nice half as the point guard. Well, eight on the clock. Ellie Denny is doubled, kicks it out to Kendall Keller. This has been the Jamie Picking Show. There hasn't been a lot of perimeter offense. A nice dump into the post. Maddie Garrett scores again. So Jamie with another assist as we dip under a minute to go in a 37-23 lead. 14-point margin. Saints in front. Crass out of the three-point line. Now Long a turnover. Carroll out of the possession. 30 seconds on the shot clock. 36.8 on the half clock. So you could go two for one here. Carroll could. If they want to shoot it quickly, but I don't think they do. Kelly dribble hand off to Denny. Now Pickens. Kendall you know, Kelly looks to the sideline. She'll back it all the way out to half court almost. Kendall, one on one, driving. Of course, is a, a tie up there. Possession yeah, stays with the Fighting Saints on the jump ball. 17 seconds, 11 on the shot clock. Ellie Denny will head to the side or the uh, baseline rather to inbound. Saints have been exceptional on inbounds plays offensively. Garrett's out of the three point line, gives it to Denny. I don't think they on the shot clock. Eric Nesson, she knows she needs to go to work. Spinning and weaving up and no good. From three, Oof. unable to convert. 37-23 is your score at halftime. Saints in front by 14. We'll take a break, and when we return, we'll be back with halftime. Go see the home of the Fighting Saints on Rewind 94.9 FM and online KCAP.com. If Joe Pena injury has you sidelined, you may be a candidate for joint replacement surgery. By St. Peter's Health, orthopedic surgeon, Dr. Jeff Dixon. I do orthopedic surgery, joint replacements, knees, hips, and shoulders, and I do sports care, knee, shoulders, and fracture care as well. The most common reason that we recommend joint replacement for people is when they have pain that's become debilitating in their life. So some of the reasons people go to joint replacements are fear, I think, is the most common, just not knowing what to expect with the surgery and the recovery. Things that have improved with joint replacement is we have better materials, replacements are lasting longer, and then we also have better image guidance, so we use that for replacement of implants and things like that. When patients are hesitant about joint surgery, but they need it, uh, I think just talking through the process and explaining that it really is the only definitive way to take care of arthritic problems, and I think that takes a lot of the fear of the unknown away. To learn more about joint replacement or to make an appointment to see Dr. Dixon and the St. Peter's team of top orthopedic specialists, visit sphealth.org slash ortho. The President's Day Sales Ben Hall over through Saturday, our record furniture. When you shop record, you'll find tremendous store weight savings on the largest selection of home furnishings in the Helen area. Save on sofas, reclining, weather, bedroom, dining room, occasional tables, entertainment consoles, Tempur-Pedic, Sealy, Sierra's League beds, and more. Plus, installment financing is available with approved credit for most purchases over $399. Ask for details. Remember, the President's Day Sale has been held over through Saturday at Rucker Furniture 1010 Dearborn in Helena. He won when opened in 1959. Four generations later, the family business is still serving the Helena community with the best equipment to get your projects done right. Lawn and garden, homeowner projects, and construction. Have a project? Stop in the Need One Rentals. They'll have just what you need to get it done right. Open seven days a week, 1400 Cedar Street. When you need it, rent it. It's halftime. Saints basketball is on your home for the Saints. Rewind 94.9 and KCAP.com. Now from the Northwest Battery and Automotive Broadcast booth, here's Nick Nielsen. It's halftime from the Carroll College Speed Center. The Fighting Saints with a 37-3 lead. It was 15-15 at one point, and the Saints have been since then. Second quarter, a really good one for the Fighting Saints, and leading the way of all from Allen now, Jamie Pickens, 20 points, 5 rebounds, and she's had a couple assists, a block, she's done it all. Yeah, and she's done it at the low post, uh, and she's done it also up at the high post, 
and even a little bit extended with her jump shot. She loves the ball up there. She definitely can shoot it from there. And what we noticed about uh, Thursday in Billings is she's starting to be able to extend her range a little bit. You know, instead of it just being a 12 or 11 foot shot, she's out there now 14, 15 feet making those shots. As for the northern skylights, Taya Trottier has been a bright spot. She has six points and four assists. Riley Carey has six. Jolene Cross off the bench has six. But the defense really ratcheted up by the Saints and not a lot of good looks and not a lot of points there after they did get off to a really nice start with some adjustments by the Saints in the half court. Well, they did. It uh, was a one-point game at the quarter, and then the second quarter, Carroll kicked it into another gear. And I, about that time, Riley Kerr, I didn't, she, she didn't really get going like I think she can. And I think Chris Moore will try to get her going a bit more in the second half. Carroll got some stops, and then they got you know some little more easier buckets in transition and opened up this nice lead. And they didn't foul in the second quarter. It was very good. Eight attempts. For the skylights in the first quarter, they made seven of eight. They did foul stunt cap on a kind of desperation three. She only made one of three ball on that one, yeah. so that didn't hurt them too much. Um, as we look at the Mike Miller State Farm Insurance scoreboard, I have a couple men's updates for you. From Billings, halftime, University of Montana Western 33, Rocky 29. Of course, the Saints men defeated Rocky on Thursday in the overtime matchup. This one, the low score, 33-29 on that one. The other one, any guess from uh, Great Falls, the Argos and Montana Tech? Well, I would think it would be Tech, but the way you sound, I'm guessing maybe the Argos are keeping it close. No, 44-25. The Steamrollers from here <laughs> continue their dominant run throughout. As good as Carroll's been in the women's side, the Gore Diggers have been good on the men's side. They will lead by 19 over Providence, who currently and will end up as the three seed in the conference. You know, one of the interesting things that I sort of pay attention to this year, Nick, on both both the men's and women's side. So, uh, the, all the Frontier games are played Thursday, Saturday. And w w the team that Carroll plays Thursday, and obviously Carroll's won most of those games except for Tech on the men's side, and almost all the games on the women's side. That team, Saturday night, doesn't play very well. Uh, and to me, I say, why is that? Well, one clue would be that teams really get up for Carroll, they play their guests out, and um, they'll have a hard time getting up for the Saturday game. Now, maybe it's just coincidence, maybe it's just uh, whatever, but it's been a trend that I've seen uh, pretty much throughout the season. Uh, Rocky played you know, really, really hard uh, against Carroll women uh, last week, and also Carroll men, and you know, then uh, they, they come back and they don't play near as well on Saturday night. I think that's a good observation in the fact that, as you mentioned, the fighting scenes women scene has been so good that yeah. the teams are ex exerting so much to try to stay in the games that when they have very little turnaround time, and oftentimes there's travel involved, both going both ways. Exactly. But that is a tough but Rocky men, Rocky men had a real legit chance to win that game Thursday night. Some people think they, they, they should have won it, and they just kind of didn't, didn't kind of get the breaks at the end and, you know, pulled their hearts out at home. And now, here they are at home again against Western, and at halftime they're down 14 points. I mean, that, that can't be just a coincidence. Carol College women win by 14, Jamie Pickens 20 points. Maddie Garris, also a grad student on senior day, she's got eight points and four rebounds, so they have combined for 28 out of 37, which is essentially two-thirds of the scoring for the fighting Saints for shooting 50% from the field, perfect from the free throw line, mostly thanks to Jeannie Pickens, eight for eight. Um, on the rebounding side, I mentioned five and four. Kendall Keller has three rebounds, three assists, three points. She played 18 minutes. Action point guard and Noah Albrecht, they only played eight and ten minutes respectively and combined two points out of them. So you've got to be happy if your coach says that you have two of your starters 
Since they're not even playing in the second quarter, and your team is so up by 14. And uh, for Addie Ekstrom, you know, having her sitting most of the second quarter, she's played a lot of minutes. And this isn't all bad for her to, to, uh, to get some good rest. Get ready. The tournament starts for Carol, it'll start Friday, Thursday for everybody else. But it's not bad getting, off, getting her off of off of her feet a little bit and getting somebody else in there. It was good to see uh, Ellie Denny and Ava Oka get in there and get some turns. And, uh, and Kendall Keller, she played the point, and she did a nice job at the point when she had to uh, that second quarter. Saints lead by 14. It's halftime. We'll take a break, and we'll be back with more. You're listening to Home and the Fighting Saints on Green Line, 949 FM, and online, KCAP.com. The President's Day sale has been held over through this Saturday, February 25th at Furniture Show. You still have time to shop Furniture Show with a great selection of sofas, recliners, occasional tables, dining room, bedroom, extremely affordable therapeutic beds, and more during this fantastic sale. Plus, 12-month financing is available with approved credit on most purchases over $399. Ask for details. Don't forget, President's Day savings have been held over through this Saturday at Furniture Showroom, 2200 North Last Chance Gulch in Helena. Some see snow and ice, some just see cold. At Play It Again Sports, they see winter sports and hockey. Get to Play It Again Sports now for the winter super set. Right now, get select new winter gear and select new hockey gear up to 60% off. Bring in your used gear and upgrade it for new. Get out on the ice and out in the snow and be up to snow good with new winter and hockey gear at the winter super sale at Play It Again Sports on North Montana Avenue. Now, I am we can't prove it, but research strongly suggests the oldest question in the history of humanity is, what are we doing for dinner? At Overland Express, you'll find an all-American family-style restaurant. The Overland features prime rib nightly, fresh seafood, mouth-watering salads, and homemade soups every day. Solve the oldest question. Choose Overland Express for your next night out. Suitable for date night or family night. Overland Express, serving the diners of Helena since 1975. What are we doing for dinner? Going to Overland Express. This is John Lager, Chris of Century 21. God is not looking for people who have great faith, but for people who simply stand with an attitude of faith. God never said, you wouldn't have times of trouble, but he did promise, if you just stand, he will take your enemies. Stand with your eyes on God, knowing that he has the right to say. But what he promised you will come to pass. If you would like to develop more of an attitude of faith, join me on Sunday mornings at 10 o'clock in Grace Community Fellowship in the Dungeon Block across from Park Avenue Bakery. This is Saints Game Day, driven by Plaster Motors, on Rewind 94.9 and KCAP.com. Welcome back to the Carroll College PE Center. Four minutes and change to go before the second half begins on Senior Day. The Carroll College Fighting Saints, 13-1 in the Frontier Conference. They are up 14. It's 37-23, and Jane Pickens with a huge half, 20 points, 5 rebounds. It's Senior Day. Gary, yeah. you've been in Helena coaching for the men's team. You assisted for many years for Coach Sayers. You've watched a lot of different teams and players come and go without ranking with a number, but how does Jamie uh, Pickens stack up in your estimation? Well, you know, when I was coaching the men, when you're, when you're coaching the men, a lot of times you don't even get to see the women. So I did get to see some of the great players that played while I was coaching the men and even before that. But, you know, it, for the last really, uh, since 2009, when I've been, when I've been doing uh, the radio and really focusing in on the women and also coaching some, you know, Hannah Heen and Jamie Pickens are two of the, the two of the best players that I've ever seen in a conference. Hannah was the first team All-American, and Jamie will do as well, especially if Carol can uh, advance. You know, you gotta you gotta win a couple of games, and at least they get to the round of 16. You know, normally to to, to get a first team All-American, but not only is if Carol can advance, it's not only is Jamie a candidate All-American, but you're talking about Player of the Year numbers that she's putting out. I mean, NAI Player of the Year. That's Assuming Carol could advance and get into the Final Four type of thing, Jamie's going to be a, really looked at for a, I mean, I that's kind of year that she's had. And Hannah Dean, you mentioned. 
mention she's an assistant coach for Coach Sayers. Yeah. So Coach Sayers has been, uh, for pretty much her entire tenure, she's done an excellent job of keeping former players around the program and augmenting her staff. J.D. Solomon's been a long-time assistant, but then she's continually cycling through some of her players to give them opportunities to stay around basketball. But Hannah Dean works at the school, as you mentioned, a terrific player, and then an additional, uh, she's really, I think, assumed larger role as an assistant coach. More and more, I agree with that. I see more and more. Hannah does a lot of the little details, statistics, numbers, scouting reports. Uh, she's into it. And Hannah's just really, she's really smart and she's basketball smart. She really gets it and understands it. Uh, and like you said, I, I can see her doing more and more. She might want to be head coach someday. I, I wouldn't be surprised it, it, it certainly has yeah. experience and intellect and yeah. you know, could be an opportunity for her down the stretch. As the Fighting Saints, we we're about ready to get going for the second half. They lead 37-23. This is one of those spots where playing time right now. You're up 14. If you get off to a good start, do you think about giving some good rest? Or do you say, we're going to have an entire week off almost until they have to play? On Friday. Well, I think it's okay to rest players, and you should. But I just think you you, you, got, you can't wholesale it. You've got to keep, you know, three starters in uh, if you can, uh, and then you know, bring two off your bench. Uh, and if you want to give give uh, some of those girls some time that they haven't had a lot, you just can't throw them out there with four other players that are inexperienced. So uh, this Northern team's capable. Okay, they almost beat uh, the Argos. Thursday night in Great Falls, I mean, they were right there. I mean, they're not bad. They, uh, they, they've got some firepower. Uh, they just, they missed a lot of shots. They, they only shot 29%, 7 for 26. They missed a lot of shots. You know? And they can shoot better than that. And they got off to a good first quarter, so we saw that they could hang with the Saints for a decent bit of time there, but then Carroll started to extend the lead. The five players on the floor right now, the Fighting Saints, their customary starting five, Addie Ekstrom, Willa Albrecht, Maddie Garrett, Kendall Keller, and Jamie Pickens for the Fighting Saints. 14-point margin, third quarter, just about ready to go. As for Chris Mowitz group from Haver, the Skylights made the trip to Helena. Jalen Callender, Tyler Trottier, Savannah Toms, Latia Lawrence, and Riley Kitt. Going right to left are the skylights. And he, Chris Watt loves that backdoor play. Carroll didn't bite on it. Toms attacking on Jamie Pickens, and Jamie holds her ground, and the rebound comes to Garrett. Saints going left to right on your radio, radio dial, third quarter. Albrecht and Ekstrom got significant rest after getting two fouls as Maddie Garrett's with an excellent drive to the lane, and she scores, so she's got 10. It's a 16 point lead. All smiles on the Carroll players right now on senior day. Latia Lawrence face up three. She knocks it down. So a nice shot by her. She's from Harlem. And she got the start. Chris Miller shuffled his backcourt a little bit in a few of the games here in terms of starters. We've been impressed by Latia Lawrence though and her playmaking ability. Albrecht throws it outside to Kendall Keller, and then a drop down pass to Jamie Pickens. Ten on the shot clock, ball rotation, corner three. Will Albrecht knocks it down. 42-26. We've seen Willa in warm-ups, and she gets the steal, retreats, kicks it out to Kendall Keller. But I was going to say, we've seen Willa exhibit incredible shooting ability. She just hasn't had the amount of shots. Maddie Garrett's in and out on the three. Jamie tried to get the board, and then Willa comes crashing in and gets a loose ball foul. <laughs> yeah, that's where Willa's fouls all come. Yeah, it's tough because you yeah. want to see the yeah. effort that she puts out, but she's just had a hard, yeah. hard and time. She, and she needs to get some time. She needs to, and then especially against Northern, she's they're playing a lot of zone. She's going to get some looks. Effort fouls have been the name of the game for her. 42-26. Savannah Toms kicks it out. Riley Kerr. 
she shoots a deep one that uh, put us out last ball. Yeah, uh, Maddie actually was uh, pushed through that screen there and got the foul. So that will just be a loose ball foul, and Northern will inbound it on the sideline with 8.06 remaining in the third quarter, 42 26, 16 point lead. Jalen Callender picks up her dribble. They tried that backdoor play again. Yeah, he's loved, Chris Moore loves that play. He's got a lot of buckets off that off the years. Matia Lawrence driving and scooping and scoring. But Matia, she had a great freshman year and had some medical issues, but she's, a, she's capable. So five points in the quarter for her already as Will Albrecht throws it cross court to Kendall Keller. Now Maddie Garrett's in the corner as they move the ball around the perimeter. And Addy Ekstrom tees up three. That's a lead Lloyd Kutcher halfway. Three-pointer off the fingertips of Addy Ekstrom. So Addy's got five now. It's 45-28. 17-point lead for the Fighting Saints. Tyler Trottier with the left hand. Finds Savannah Toms, and she knocks down a mid-range jumper. A good that's broken that's shot by her. And that's that pick and pop on ball. Sometimes Northern will pick and roll, and sometimes they'll pick and pop. Like I think it kind of depends who sets the screen. Foul, loose ball foul on Jalen Callender. Calvary's a good ball handler, a decent yeah. defender. Doesn't shoot it a lot, but she's played a lot of minutes for Chris Miller, just a good leader for his team. Addie Ekstrom to the corner, Will Albrecht, as the zone is being employed. Jamie Pickens throws it to the corner, Addie Ekstrom will pass up a three, and then a loose ball foul on Trottier. Good discipline by the Saints to keep looking for better shots. I, and I, th I think Northern's going to play a lot of 1-2-2 two, two zone. It's a real spread zone. Coach Mode has run it for years. And they'll, they'll jump into man-to-man -man sometimes, but I think they're going to try to play as much zone as they can this half. Jalen Callender into the passing lane. She gets the steal, but can't corral it as Nighty Garrett comes out with it. And she throws it into Addie Ekstrom. Now the Saints have numbers. Ekstrom tosses it in to Jamie. Pickens, they collapse on her. She throws an excellent pass. Maddie Garrett's, Maddie scores. 12 for Maddie. That's a great find by Jamie. 17 point margin. Let's see Lawrence shoots a three. She can't connect. And here come the Saints, up 17. Six minutes and 10 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Will Albrecht to Keller. Keller will shoot three. And Kimmel knocks it down. So the Haver native knocks one down on the skylights, and it's 20 point margin, 50 to 30, 555 remaining in the third quarter. Good start to the third quarter for the Fighting Saints. They continue to extend it. They're all the way to 20 right now. Trottier. Kerr. Kerr's got some space, but she airballs it. Out of bounds. And I think they thought that uh, Kendall got a piece of that. Oh, okay. so Northern, will, Northern will keep the ball. I think Jamie could have got it. She yeah, just got it. it. She yeah. didn't realize it. Um, but the ball goes out of bounds. And possession remains with the Skylights. Inbound, Trottier will shoot three. No good. Rebound to Pickens. Kendall Keller. Up the floor she goes. Searching for teammates. Saints throw it around the perimeter. Jamie Pickens gets crushed by Toms and hits the floor. So the loose ball foul on Savannah Toms. Her third. Isabel Erickson checks in, Maddie Garrett checks out. Toms will head to the bench after the third foul, and checking in is Cheyenne Crass, who had a nice first half of six points. Will Albrecht, oftentimes the inbounder. And Trottier into the passing lane, creates the steal, and she'll try to finish. And Izzy with the block, ball goes out of bounds. That's twice, though, that the uh, Northern Lights have been able to get in the passing lane and get a steal, but they haven't been able to good, good anticipation by Trottier that time. Let's see a Lawrence will inbound it to Crass. She'll hand it off to Trottier. And we've got a loose ball foul on Eddie Ekstrom. Oh. 
few fouls on her as Rachel Van Blaricum is also into the game for the Skylights from nearby. Good defense. She almost got a steal there, Addy did. Addy Exton. One of the best defenders in the Frontier Conference. Just picked up a lot of fouls. That that's one. really good post defense by Jamie there. She's fronting, and uh, Northern had a clear out in the log, and Jamie got her hand up and deflected it. Time out of the floor. We'll take a break. We'll be back with more third quarter action from the PE Center when we return. You're listening to your home with Carroll College Basketball on Rewind 94.9 FM and online at KCAP.com. Want internet with no limits? 8 gig all fiber internet from TVS is otherworldly. Stream, game, and work with astronomical power. Create the ultimate smart home. And do it all with unmatched speed and reliability. No contracts, no data caps. Isn't it time to live without limits? Register for TBS Fiber 8 gig internet today. Visit tbsfiber.com slash limitless. Internet speeds are up to a not guarantee. Subject to availability with terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Well, it's official. Winner is definitely here. Hi, this is Eric from Placer Subaru. Right now, during the Subaru Lot to Love event, we have a great selection of Outback, Forester, Crosstrek, Ascent, Impreza, Legacy, and Snow Tire equipped WRX models, as well as a great selection of certified pre-owned Subarus. So now is the time to head to Placer Motors and see for yourself why Consumer Reports ranks Subaru best mainstream brand for 2023. Right now, you can take advantage of interest rates as low as 1.9% on select Outback models up to 48 months on group cards. So come see us, take a look, take a test drive. That's Placer. Five minutes remaining in the third quarter. It's 50 to 30. The fighting scenes with the commanding lead. With Tia Lawrence inbounding from the baseline, she gets it into Riley Kerr, who's been pretty quiet. She had a good game and have her. Then Blair come. Out to crash, crash shot is an air ball into the hands of Bill Albrecht. Maddie Ekstrom playing with three fouls. Set off to Willa. Jane's been quiet in the third quarter. She gets this catch though and kicks it out and finds Ekstrom who puts up another three. Well, so Addie Ekstrom's knocked down two threes, another assist by Jamie. <laughs> An underrated part of her game has been her passing. We have been talking about it, but it deserves more attention. She is consistently seeing double teams and finding the open teammate. And not just passing out, but finding the right person. Yeah. And in the fifth. Van Blair comes shot, no good, into the hands of Addie Ekstrom. Addie gets a pass in half. Ford takes the pick from Pickens, and Pickens will shoot a three on Big smile to the bench, and her team I don't know if I've seen her make a three this year. I think she has one, but Does she? she doesn't take in many, and Izzy draws the charge. Yeah. And that's a So Jamie no. Pickens, I, I think she takes that only because it's senior day and yeah. they're up by 20. And Izzy, ju Izzy just took a big time charge, and Chris Moen is really angry. And I don't blame him, because there's two refs he's saying down here, and the trio makes the call, but it was the right call. <laughs> so it's 56-30, 3.43 in the third, and we see a loose ball foul on Trottier. No, it's coaching hard down 26. 341. All back. We've got free throws coming to us. The fifth foul on Northern. The second foul on Trottier. This will send Addie Ekstrom to the free throw line as she knocks down the first. So Addie, I, I, don't, I don't blame Chris for being mad, but I think it was the right call. But the, the wrong official made it. So that's the, and he's got a legitimate beat. Yeah, Izzy got crushed on that one. I mean, she's been known to take charges, and she's a hard-nosed defender. 28-point margin off the free throw makes from the inside cover one free throw line from Addie Ekstrom, who's had a good quarter after having to sit a lot due to foul trouble. 15 on the shot clock. Sydney Hansen throws a cross court to Trottier. Trottier on the attack and can't get it. And we got a blocking call on Izzy Erickson, who's 
Tried here will head to the free throw line. You see Erica Nesson check back in, the grad student from Spokane, Washington. She's got two points in this game so far. But has been a real valuable player. Came back for the fifth year and has made a good contribution. She's the top guard off the bench for yep. Coach Sayers and has made some timely threes and great defense. You mentioned several times, Gary, that she's got great anticipation. Oh, and a turnover. Ball goes between the legs of Willa Albrecht. And that's, the, and that's the, uh, the full court press by Northern, caused a turnover there. So they're not giving up, they're battling. Jamie Pickens on the bench, making Carstetter back in, and Will Albrecht gets a block and then has a smile as Rachel Van Blair come, will head to the free throw line as she was aggressive on the attempt. You know, Will got all ball. I don't know if she got some body, but that's four fouls. Huh? Yeah. yeah. And I, I, I don't want Will to foul. She needs to play some more. But does she get out? No, she will. She'll, <laughs> have to, go. she'll have to come out for a while. What? One more free throw for <laughs> Rachel Van Blair. Come Why don't they let her in? Why the referee's not let her in? I don't have an explanation, but there's the horn. Yeah. So Will will head to the bench. Kendall Keller will check in. 58-33. So a, a real aggressive full court press now by Northern. Really picking up full court. Ekstrom gets a pass and then triple handoff to Kendall Keller. Checked in. So we got Carstetter, Erickson, Nesson, Keller, Ekstrom. Kendall. Jumper in the lane. Knocks it down. 60-33. All fighting sinks. 27 point margin. And Blair come on the attack. Kicks it out to Crass. Crass will shoot it from just inside the three-point line. She gets the shooter's touch, and that one goes down. Cheyenne Crass with the make. She is from Hoagland, Montana, Turner High School. Trot here with the foul call on the skylights. Tia Lawrence heads to the bench, and we see Mackenzie Long played at Walla Walla Community College before coming to Haver. Now Jalen Callender, after an extended break, will check in, and Trotier will check out. Three fouls on Tyler Trotier, so she'll hit the bench. She's had a solid performance there thus far. So it's Hanson, Callender, Crass, Van Blaircom, and Long. And one starter in for Chris Mullet's group at the moment as Eric and Essen at the pin side of at one free throw line connects on that. Both teams have five fouls, so for the remainder of the third quarter, we'll see foul shots on fouls. Two for two with the line for Erica. Time out on the floor. We'll take a break, and we'll be back with more third quarter action from Helena. We'll see you home in the fighting season on Rewind, 94.9 FM, and online at Want to get the most money for your tax refund buck? Make an investment that saves you even more money and increases your safety and comfort. Give your vehicle a little TLC at the Money Key Car Care Center. For routine maintenance and repairs, key tires, or brake pads, Money Key can help you keep your car running smoothly and safely. Money Key Car Care Center, where our model is to always do the right thing. That can be only not to it. 610 West Custer. Everybody has done it. You walk into a room and just know it's nice. It might be the sheen of a tile bathroom. It might be the deep cushion view of the carpet in the bedroom. Or the perfect lines and rich wood green of the floor. Princess Carpet Board's sales and design team is talented and can show you how to bring that look and feel to your home or office. Helena has trusted Finstats for over 75 years. They are proudly employee owned. They're not just a store. They are a community partner. Finstats Carpet One on Fuller Downtown. Welcome back to the Carroll College PE Center. 6235 is the score, 240 to go. Saints lead by 27 on the floor. 240 in the third quarter. That's right. Yeah, 240 in the third quarter. That's right. And Jamie and Carroll already was 62 points, which just tells you how well they shot the ball. Yeah, they've been tremendous. On both ends of the floor, really, as Crass 
hook shot is no good. And the rebound comes out to Kendall Keller. Yeah, Gary, in terms of scoring performances, this is starting to yeah. hurt the makings of one of their best. Well, they just haven't shot the three very well all year. Megan Carstetter shot up and no good. Defense by Cross. Jalen Counter running the point right now for the Skylights. Uh, Sydney Hansen will try her hand to the three. No good. And a rebound to Megan Carstetter. Jamie Pickens on the bench. She's got 23 points, 6 rebounds, 4 assists. Maddie Garrett has 12 points, 6 rebounds, also on the bench. Maddie Ekstrom is on the court. She's got 10 points and 5 assists for the Fighting Saints. Savannah Cho Tom checks in and Shannon Crass will head to the bench. So, 7 players have scored for the Fighting Saints so far. Ellie Denny is one of them and she'll be checking in on the next dead ball. Cheyenne Crass off the bench with 8 points, 4 rebounds, leads away for Northern. Ty Trotter has 5 assists and 7 points. Addie Ekstrom knocks down a free throw from the infants that cover one free throw line. So Addie had foul trouble in the first half, didn't play a lot. She's had an excellent third quarter. She misses her second free throw. Megan Carstetter gets the rebound and the left hand put back. So Megan gets into the scoring column. She's from Moses Lake, Washington. She'll be counted on a lot next year. Yes, she will. Yeah, good defense right there, there by her, too. Van Blair come, kicks it out after a miss, but she tracked down her own rebound. Savannah Tom's going to work in the interior. And we got a jump ball. Erica Nessen doubling down caused that jump ball. Erica is one of the really good off-ball defenders that you'll see in this league. Pesky. Yeah. And, and she anticipates and she's off to the ball. But most of she's aggressive. But I just love her anticipation. 65-35, a 30-point lead. And Ellie Denny on the floor. Addie Ekstrom gets some much-deserved rest as she heads to the bench on senior day. At the conclusion of this one, the Saints players will be recognized at half court with their families. And Kendall Keller drives to the lane and puts a good shoulder down, and Sidney Hansen takes the brunt of that one and is called for the foul. It's a big smile on the face of Kendall Keller. She thinks she got it away with one. Well, you know, uh, Kendall's pl uh, played a lot of the second quarter at the point and is playing the point now, and she's doing a nice job at the point. She's been mostly a two guard this year with Addy, uh, uh, but. Um, She's also got good ball handling skills, and she'll be back again next year. Best free throw shooter in the Frontier Conference, best yeah. shooter on the team, best shooter in Carroll uh, College history, 93%. She knocks down both from the fence side cover on the free throw line. It's a 32-point advantage, 67-35. Mackenzie Long defended by Ellie Denny. Van Blair come with the left hand. 12 on the shot clock, 32 seconds remaining in third quarter. Long will try to three, and she knocks it down. Ooh, a hop back three. Mackenzie Long from way downtown. 67-38 now is the score. Shot clock is off. 16 seconds. Kendall Keller to Denny. Denny with the right hand driving and scooping. Rebound by Toms. Calendar trying to get it up the floor and the turnover as it goes off the hands of Hanson. 1.9 seconds remaining in this third quarter. Dulce Skunk Cap checks in and Van Blair come heads to the bench. Ellie Denny will have the inbounds, see if they can get off a shot before the buzzer. Erickson, good defense by Hanson. Izzy shakes her head, says, I am not going to. Shoot that one. 67 to 38. The third quarter is over. We'll take a break. And when we return, the final quarter of the regular season for the Fighting Saints. We're listening to the home of Carroll College Basketball on Rewind 94.9 FM and online at KCAP.com. Explore, learn, and grow at the Lewis and Clark Library. Looking for fun holiday craft ideas? New recipes to try? Or simply needing a 
good book to escape in. Check out all the library has to offer, both online and in person. From mobile hotspots and laptops to playaway audiobooks and the current bestsellers to television classics, the library has something for everyone. Visit lclibrary.org to explore our online collections and discover all the library has to offer. East Helena experienced the fiber revolution with Montana Internet. Our ultra-fast gigabit fiber service is now available in Red Fox Meadows, Prestige, Highland Meadows, Vigilante, Dryland Loop, and Heron Creek. No contracts, unlimited data, and award-winning tech support from our local team. Call 443-3347 or visit mt.net. Montana Internet, driving the fiber revolution. We see a couple of the stars for the Saints re-enter the game for the beginning of the fourth quarter. Maddie Garrett, Jamie Pickens, Ava Oakland, Erica Ness, and another Jenny on the floor as the Saints are going left to right. And the first shot is up and no good by the Skylights, and the rebound comes to Maddie Garrett's. Ava Oakland from Boise. Ellie Denny from... Washington. Nesson also from Washington. Spokane area. Catch for Jamie Pickens. She kicks it out to Erica Nesson. She'll try a three. Shot no good. Rebound by Stuntcap. Saints have been shooting at 58% after three quarters. They've got four players in double figures. Keller at 10, 11 for Ekstrom, 23 for Pickens, and 12 for Garrett. Jamie only had one bucket in that third quarter. It was a three-pointer. And Tom's unable to score, and Ava Oakland takes it into the front court, backs out, and gives it to Ellie again. Oakland to Nesson. Now you go outside with the three-point line, throws it into Pickens. Pickens calmly backing down, squaring up, shooting, and drawing the foul. So Jamie will head to the free throw line. She's been perfect there, eight for eight. She's got six rebounds, Gary. She's got 20 double doubles. She's <laughs> she needs four rebounds. Four. Yeah, that's four. about where we're at. Is I don't know if she'll get them. I don't think she'll be in very long. It's the stat uh, <laughs> making portion of the game here as they lead by 29. Well, this, it's, this is the second game of the road trip uh, for Northern. They played uh, Thursday night in in uh, in uh, Great Falls and uh, almost won. They play, played their heart out. Almost won. And probably came to Helen and maybe still the night. So they spent another night in the motel and, uh, you know, they, they look a little tired. They're not quite... I'm sure they played their hearts out uh, Thursday. Pickens, 10 for 10 at the free throw line. She's been tremendous. That's got to be maybe her best career performance yeah. on the line. Yeah. 69-38, 31-point lead. 8.26 to go. Jalen Callender will trigger an inbounds from the baseline. And good defense by Ava Oakland to oh. swat it, and it gets into the hands of Eric and Essen, and Erica will push it. She just anticipates so well. And then a hook by Sydney Hansen. Jalen Callender heads to the bench. Ty Trotter back on the floor. Oakland will be inbounding. She gets it to Danny. Picks up her dribble far from the hoop. Jamie Pickens. Gets a catch on the wing. The Saints are kind of just trying to burn some clock here as they've got a commanding 31 point victory in hand right now, I should say. Ellie Denny driving with the left hand, can't convert, and then beating the buzzer is Maddie Garrett. All things going in the way of the Saints right now, 71-38. When it's senior day, it's your day right now. Well, it's it's all, yeah, you know, and it's just everything's falling, everything's going Carol's way. Savannah Toms driving and can't get it. And the big 
this round seven. You hit on a big thing that after the first quarter, Carroll hasn't been fouling nearly so much. And that's a big part of what Northern was able to do to keep the game in, co in contact. Jamie with another oh. assist as she sends it off to Maddie Garrett. Smiles on the faces of both as they up the lead to 35. It's 73 to 38, and we're going to see a series of substitutions at the next dead ball. Maddie Garrett's corralled and rebound and off a of miss from Maddie Buddy. Garrett has got more defensive rebounds in this game than any game of the year. She's been a tremendous offensive rebounder, but Coach has been after her to get defensive rebounds. It's at least four that I could count. Oh, Denny will try a deep three, and then you see a almost offensive rebound like this. And to your point, Gary, she's got nine rebounds, 16 points, How many seven for 10. How many defense you have that? I've got at least four in my mind. You get a big round of applause and a hug for Jamie Pickens, Eric and Nesson, and Maddie Garrett from their coach of standing ovations in the crowd. She had five at halftime, five to so that's at least six. I tell you, that's a career high. She boxes out really well and then lets Jamie clean up normally. But tonight she's gotten some boys herself. So the two grad students in the posts, yeah. Jamie Piggins, Maddie Garrett's combined for 41 points, 16 rebounds, shoot 14 for 20, 70% from the field, and perfect from the free throw line. As we see the substitutions, a miss by Care and the rebound to Erickson. So on the floor for the Fighting Saints now, you have Ava Oakland from Boise, Ellie Denny from Liberty High School in Washington, Megan Carstetter throws the fastball, ball gets tipped and out of bounds. Now we've got, so Megan is from Moses Lake, and then you've got Claire Converse, who's from Kalispell, and played at Flathead High School. And Claire played point guard in high school, so it'd be interesting to see if she's played point guard with this crew. She's a freshman. And then Izzy Erickson. Nice step through the bucket by Ava Oakland. So Ava gets two points there as we have the Saints nearly doubling up the skylight, 75 to 38. Good opportunity for some run for some of these Fighting Saints reserves as Cheyenne Crass throws a cross court skunk cap. She'll hoist the three and carries it. Well, that was a quick release. Really quick. 75-41, 5-38. Oakland, driving, kicking. Converse. Erickson with the catch in the post. She's going to go to work. And spinning and traveling. Oh, Denny ran into her. Chris Mullet wants a timeout. He's got all sorts of things. He's a super official. He's been working them hard. Now it's time on the floor that we will take along with him. We'll be back with more fourth quarter action from Helena. We're listening to the home of the fighting scenes on Rewind 94.9 FM and online PCAP.com. Why do we play these machines? To hear that sound, even if it's not your machine, it makes your heart beat a little faster. And hope is relieved that you're just one button push away from your very own jackpot. At Gold Island Casino, it seems you hear that sound more often. We'll see you shortly at the Gold Island Casino. Sales bent home over through Saturday. Our record furniture. New shop records will find tremendous store weight savings on the largest selection of home furnishings in the Helen area. Save on sofas, great lining, leather, bedroom, dining room, occasional tables, entertainment consoles, different PDX, Sealy, Sierra's make beds, and more. Plus, toilet financing is available with approved credit and most purchases over three hundred and ninety-nine dollars. Ask for details. Remember, the President's Day sale has been held over through Saturday. Our record furniture, 1010 Dearborn in Helena. KIMO 83 Council, K235 BW Helena. You're home for the Carroll College Saints. Rewind 94 9. Welcome back to the Carroll College Peace Center. Five minutes, 20 seconds, and all the starters are probably done for the day as they should be. They are at 75 41 on senior day. So the five on the floor Ellie Guinea, Megan Karstetter, Isabel Erickson, Ava Oakland, Claire Converse. Saints have secured the number one seed in the Frontier Conference Tournament, which will begin for them on Friday. It will start in earnest on Thursday. 
Shot here, stunt cap. The lights will have to play on Thursday. They've had a better season than last year, and we will have opportunities to play a less talented team than Carroll on Thursday. Shot here, jumper, knocks it down. And the lights are going to work hard here for the last bit of time. They're pressuring right now as Claire Converse dribbles it off of, I think, uh, I think the yeah, I think she, uh, she dribbled off her foot. Kareem Cabrera is in on the defensive end. Now we see Sydney Hansen coming in as well as Jalen Callender. Trotter goes to the bench. So the Skylights have the ball in 30 seconds from the baseline. Callender inbounds to Cabrera. Ellie Denny on the defensive end. Carstetter hedges. They drop it in the crash. She kicks it out to Callender. Callender step back three. She buries it. And Chris Mowat wants a timeout. 30 seconds. So he's coaching the very end here. Oh yeah, there's no quick Chris. No quick him. No coach for the very end. A couple of three makes by yeah. uh, Northern. So good yeah. to see them have some success from beyond the arc here as we continue to work it. Yeah, but uh, well with this lineup and then Carol's got to handle the press and Rochelle will go with them as long as they do that, but if they start shooting it over against the press, she'll have to bring back some of her uh, more experienced players. What do you what did you have? On the Mike Miller State Farm Return scoreboard, we'll take a look at some men's action that's going on right now. And as I scan the NAIA scoreboard, we have 318 remaining in Great Falls, Montana Tech in command, 81-66, a 15-point margin. And then a final from Billings. Montana Western 73, Rocky Mountain 64. So kind of to your point on the whole after you play Carroll yeah. team. It's just, it's, uh, I've kind of watched it all year. You know, you, the kids Thursday, but they, you play your heart out against Carroll and you've got to come back and play Saturday, especially if you play your heart out and lose. The top two teams in the men's side, it's Tech, Carroll, then you've got Providence, Western, Rocky, and MSU Mobile. Offensive foul on Ellie Denny. Her first, 4.04 to go. Coach Sayers just wants this one to come to an end with everybody healthy and not a lot of anything else here as they lead by 29. Skunk cap, calendar. Skunk cap going baseline, defended by Oakland. Step through, she hits the front of the rim. Ava Oakland working hard on Sydney Hansen. Foul on Hansen. Well, she plays hard. Hansen does. She's a great physical player. She's a senior from Big Timber. Ellie Denny will inbound as the Skylights continue to put the pressure on. Player Converse here. Back to Denny. Pass midcourt. Saints go. Carstetter gets the catch. Gives it off to Converse. Converse, good ball handler. Drops it into Erickson. Erickson facing up. Izzy going to work on Hanson. Turn around. Oh, knocks it down. Very nice move by Izzy. Really took her time, patient, made a strong move. You can tell Izzy wants to get in on the action. Yeah. She doesn't get a lot That's of shot attempts. Mm -hmm. Most veteran player on the group out there right now. All of a sudden, White's starting to knock down some threes. Green Cabrera from the corner knocks one down. Under three minutes to go, 77-49. Oh, again, he's dribbling. So, Gary, as we look ahead to the Frontier Conference Tournament, there's a pretty sizable gap between Carroll, Providence, and then the rest of the group. But in the Conference Tournament, who yeah. the, what, who, if you had to pick one team that you think could pull an upset, where would you go? Well, Wilson is, is ranked third, but I think Wilson's got a really good team. You know, they just don't match up very well with Carroll inside, but they have the, they have some real legit scores. They're really, really difficult. They uh, took to the guard. Saints to overtime here. Yeah, yeah. 
And then Clark Converse with the block shot on calendar. Ava Oakland made a layup on the previous possession and extended the lead at 30. The Saints have a good chance to get over 80 here. 79-49. Izzy gets a catch in the post. They double her. And she tries to get it out to a teammate. Ellie Denny throws a cross court. Converse driving and draws a foul. So she will get some free throw attempts. 79-49, 153 to go. And we're gonna see additional substitutions here. Elliot Pence and Danica Lurch checking in. Danica is a freshman from Richland, Washington and Richland High School. And Elliot Pence is a freshman from Spokane, Washington and Ferris High School. So they check in. Izzy will get a seat. As Claire Converse at the free throw line. Splash is her first free throw, so she gets a score. You know, Nick, there probably will be a, 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 a senior recognition. Yep. Because they didn't do that. Uh, yeah, it'll be afterwards. It'll be after the game, yeah. Play Converse knocks down both at the Finstead cover at one free throw line. It's 81-49. And the three seniors would be uh, Maddie Gerich, Jamie, uh, Jamie Pickens, and uh, Erica uh, Nesson, is that correct? That's correct. Yeah. 97 wins make it 98 as yeah. a group. Frontier Conference titles abound. Minute 30 to go. Skunk cap driving. Converse knocks it out of bounds. And stay with us for the post game show presented by Plaster Subaru. We will have the St. Peter's Health Gold Standard Player of the Game. We'll recap the stats and cover all the scores from the Frontier Conference. Look ahead to the Frontier Conference Tournament. A good entry pass to Cheyenne Crass, and she knocks that one down. So Northern gets over 50 now. It's 81-51. Saints will be content to burn some clock here. Cheyenne Crass gets in the double figures with that make. She's got 10 to go along with four rebounds to lead Northern. Tyler Trottier had nine points and five, five assists. A minute to go, Jalen Callender bringing it up the floor. So Crass wants to screen, Crass wants to shoot three. And that hits the front of the iron, and Ellie Denny gets the rebound. She's defended by Hanson, and Hanson picks up the fourth foul. Now he didn't want to call the foul on her, but he just ended up half a two. Yeah. So that's four fouls on Northern team-wise. Uh, give 30 seconds on the shot clock here, 48 on the game clock as the Saints will run an inbound play. Ellie Denny needs to get it past midcourt and then they can kind of burn some clock. Try to take this one home. The Saints will improve the 14-1 in the Frontier Conference for the second time in a row. They will have the Frontier Conference Tournament one seed. Opposite them will be University of Providence, the only team to beat the Saints. Elliot Hentz might get a shot opportunity, and she does. And oh. it in. <laughs> Big smile on her face. 83-51, and her teammates are pumped. So nearly everyone has scored for the Saints. As there's 18 seconds to go, Jalen Callender driving and kicking. Ellie Denning gets a block, and Claire Converse tried to save it. She couldn't. 83-51, 10 seconds to go. And you can't say enough about this senior group and the success that they have had. It's been really unmatched collectively as Crass will score to likely end the scoring for the night here. 83-53 with 6.9 to go. Ellie Daniel looks ahead. She doesn't even have to get it past half court. And that'll do it. Your final score from the team center, 83-53. We will take a break, and when we return, we will have the post game show presented by Pastor Subaru. You're listening to the Home of the Fighting Saints on Rewind 949 FM and online at KCUP.com. If joint pain or injury has you sidelined, you may be a candidate for joint replacement surgery. Here's St. Peter's Health orthopedic surgeon, Dr. Jeff Dixon. I do orthopedic surgery, joint replacements, knee slips and shoulders, and I do sports 